Hello, here I am going to explain how to make a melody generator by using a simple UM66 Locos IC. This melodic IC based on CMOS LSI technology. These days this IC is used for public address equipment and toy circuits. When you read its code number, you can recognize the following code format. The UM66T is the IC series. After T, two digit number mention its melody. The letter L means for level hold mode to play melody repeatedly. The letter S for one shot mode. According to the manufacturer, it has code variations such as UM66, FT66 and BT66. I am using FT66T19L for this demonstration. According to the table, it plays for Elisa melody. You can select suitable IC according to your requirement. Pin number 1 is the negative terminal of the IC, pin number 2 is the positive terminal and the most suitable supply voltage is 1.3 volt to 3.3 volt. So we need two numbers of 1.5 volt batteries to power up this IC. Pin number 3 is the melody output terminal and its output limited to 1.5 mA. If you need speak output, this IC need an amplifier stage. This is item list for the circuit. I added here some extra information to your reference. In this project, I use breadboard to make this circuit. You can see each column has separate metal conductive strips and rows have interconnected iron strips. These columns are the terminal strip of the board. Its top and bottom rows known as the positive and negative power rails. Now I am going to fix UM66 IC to the breadboard. I want to fix the micro switch to the breadboard. You can identify micro switch pins according to its data sheet. I am using a multimeter to identify its pins. I select multimeter switch to buzzer mode. You can identify common pins by checking 4 pins connectivity. These pins are interconnected pins. Those two pins are the opposite side of the switch. Now I check it again by using a multimeter. I am using jumper wires to connect this circuit. You can use jumper wire kit to make this type of project. First I remove the insulation from its end by using a micro nipper. I measure the distance approximately and cut the measured wire section. Then I remove it opposite side insulator. I bend both two leads by using a tweezer.
I cut both ends which is suitable height to plug on the breadboard. Other side of the switch connects to the positive power rail. The IC negative pin connected to the breadboard negative power rail. I am fixing the piezo transducer to the IC output pin. The battery holder wire terminals connect to the breadboard positive and negative power rails. Here I use a piece of plate without the plastic cover. If you need to fix this circuit for thinner equipment or card, you can use piece of with plastic cover. Here I am using a yogurt cup to boost its vibration. This is the second circuit diagram. I listed down the required item list for your reference. Both circuit have the melody generator section. I remove the piece from this circuit and continue to build the second circuit on it. Now I connect a capacitor negative lead to the neg IC negative lead and positive lead to the IC positive lead. Here I am using 2SD400 transistor to amplify the melody output signal.
the emitter lead connects to the ground. This is the positive part of the circuit. I put a jumper wire to connect the positive rail. IC output and transistor base lead were connected by 1 kilo ohm resistor. I bent the resistor lead by using a tweezer, then shortening it lead by using a micro nipper. I fix it on the breadboard. This is the circuit path to the speak output. Now I fix the speaker to the circuit. Finally the second melody circuit is completed. Thank you for watching this video. I added some IC melody sample for your reference at the end of this video. Thanks again for watching this video and enjoy the rest of the video.